Hi YouTube, Connor Smith here. So this is my first YouTube video here. We're doing quite a few here in the future. So this is an 8 horsepower to come so you're looking at. We're going on my triplex. I already did a video on my triplex. That was with a Honda, I forget the model number, but it was a Honda engine and it blew up. So that's why I'm building this engine. Go on it here. Looks pretty good here. I got it all painted up here just about a week ago. I painted it all up. Everything looks pretty good on it. It's going to need a new needle and seat, um, I think. And then I'm going to get it sent away and get the governor all set on it. Get it all tuned up. You got to build an engine mounting plate and put it on the triplex. And um, the gas tank on it, the fitting on the bottom of the gas tank with the gas line went on, it was plastic and it rotted off and cracked. So that didn't work. So I get, I'm getting a new gas tank. So I got the gas line down there just to hold on. Right underneath the seat down in there. Right in there. Well, yeah, so. I to get a gas tank there hooked up over here. Over here on this side here, I gotta paint uh, still the side of the engine. And, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's the primer line. There's the gas line coming out. Yeah, I got the carburetor up here. Primed up. It needs. Right. There. Somebody just chopped it with a hammer or some kind of a thing. Looks ugly. I need to get somebody to come in there with a grinder or saw and cut that at a 90 degree angle right there. 90 degree angle, so that'll look better. Prime it up and in there. You see them two forks? Well, there's supposed to be a rev little thing right there to go back and forth to rev up the engine. It needs to be put back on. There's just a gas tank mount. It goes right here. So, got everything all painted up. I'm getting a new gas tank soon, but, um, the only problem is the gas tank's plastic and it's going to be black, so try to work out something around that, but talk about that later. So I got um, so I got my triplex there for this engine, and then I got an 8 horsepower tractor, the transmission's in some pieces, right now it's grenaded, so put that back together this spring. And then I got um, another tractor coming, um, so I'm going to that tractor here, get it all painted up, maybe some chains on it, and I do a little bit of logging with it. And, yeah, um, gonna go, I gotta buy an engine for it. I'm saving quite a bit of money for that engine. Yeah, I don't really have much more to do over here today. I can't really do much. When I go to paint the engine, I'll make a video on that when I go to paint up the rest of the engine. Yeah, this is a Tecumseh 8 horsepower. Works good. I had it going, but, um, something wrong with the governor. It just, it wouldn't, I don't know. We were just revving way too high. It's just, I didn't like it, so I gotta get that sent away. Yeah. Primer's all seized up. I got it crimped in there. I gotta get that out, unbolt this piece, bolt the cover, and take the primer and put it up in that hole right there. Yeah. Eight horsepower. Tecumseh. If anybody knows any history on these engines, tell me about that, please. Yeah. So I ran it before it worked good, but something wrong with the governor. So I'm gonna get that tuned up, send it somewhere and get it tuned. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, just uh, I just do a lot of work with tractors and play around with them. So that's it for today, everybody. See you later.